welcome to The Near Memo, a weekly conversation about search, social, and commerce. What happened, why it matters, and the implications for local. Okay, with that, we'll move on to uh, the final item here, which is uh, Google's new small business attribute, which they announced kind of together in conjunction with some other holiday shopping capabilities over on search. They're adding a deals uh, kind of tool and price tracking on Chrome. And so th- th- this kind of comes into this holiday shopping Q4 um, context. And their their statement is that we're going to make it, you know, a lot of people care about shopping with small businesses and we're going to make it easier for them to discover small businesses online in a product context by allowing this new quote unquote small business attribute uh, on on search and maps. And as a sort of a digression, their definition, as far as I could tell, of what a small business is, is someone that's not part of a franchise and that has less than $10 million in revenue. They said less that- Less than 10 locations is, also. Less than 10 locations and less than 10 million. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, fewer fewer locations. I neglected to include that, yes. Which is really interesting because I bet you that um, by percentage that franchisees are a huge percentage of actual small business owners in this country. Yep. So right. uh, exactly. very strange definition on, on Google's part. Well, they're, I mean, if they're talking about independent businesses, that's a different kind of discussion. But small business includes franchises for sure. That's where right. a lot of exactly. small businesses yep. operate. But so anyway, they're, they're, they're going to infer small business status from various signals and put that badge on many businesses themselves. You can also affirmatively apply for it, as you would other attributes. Uh, and the idea is that it's going to help small businesses be discovered. And Mike, as we were discussing, you know, before we started recording, it becomes a kind of modifier or long tail uh, tool to surface small businesses in certain search contexts. But my question in the newsletter and today is, does this mean anything as a practical matter at all? Um, you know, Google likes to trot out small business. It's small business bona fides whenever there's some sort of criticism of the company. It, it, it sort of used small businesses as a shield when it doesn't like certain pieces of legislation that it's, you know, it's, it's, it's essential to the livelihood of so many small businesses. And if you do anything to mess with it, it's going to harm small businesses. I think Google could, you know, if Google was really What's serious good for about, Google is good for the com- country. Yes, Exactly. If Google were really serious about small business discovery, they would make this a filter that could be applied in Google Shopping in this new sort of search filter that's starting to show up in certain e-commerce uh, searches um, on shopping ads. And they would and they would just put it everywhere they could so people could yep. sort and filter by small business. And that would be really helpful to those people that wanted to actually buy from a small business, notwithstanding the definitional issues. Um, but it doesn't seem like that's going to happen. It seems like this is no. just a label that will show up occasionally in a very s- sort of fine print kind of way, and you might or might not notice it, and it may or may not help any small businesses actually get discovered. And it just it strikes me as like, well, why are they doing this kind of half measure if they're really at all sincere about wanting to help people discover small businesses. I think you answered your own question. (laughs) (laughs) In Google's defense, I would say not about this particular feature or similar attributes that they've introduced in the recent past, which I find to be largely performative. But Google has been one of the few places where small businesses have consistently gotten referrals, traffic, and business, whether they knew it or not. Right. So to some extent, this is a PR move that sort of might elevate them in the view of the public or the business. But the reality is that businesses have benefited from Google's local algorithm for well, many, that's many the local, years. The local pack, for sure. No, in particular, I would say I would argue that the Venice update had a bigger impact where local business, local individual business websites uh, compete for non geo modified terms with huge national brands and franchisors in many cases 
Um, and that those sites would have no chance of ranking, no chance yeah. of any visibility if Google hadn't made that organic algorithmic decision. Um, certainly the pact, you know, is garn in our research garners 30 to 40 percent of, of engagement. And those results, I would say, have a greater chance of being a local business than a national brand. But national brands get plenty of exposure there as well. So absolutely. Like, for example, public storage is one example that we're looking at, you know, in, in the context of some existing work that we're doing. And they show up quite a bit in pods and all these national chains. And yeah. Because they are physically proximate to the searcher. <clears throat> but so I would agree. Is, I mean, I, I, I think that this, this, yeah, this feels, you know, like, um, I don't know, I don't know necessarily what prompted the decision here, but, um, you know, around the time of the, the George Floyd protest, Google rapidly rolled out the sort of black owned business attribute, um, in a you know, very similar attribute, um, as a clearly a PR move. Um, we did see there was a temporary spike in the number of searches for black owned businesses. So potentially this could spawn another temporary spike in the, the usage of small business as a, a search modifier. But I totally agree with you, Greg, that it, until it becomes a heavily visible filter, and I would argue one that should exist at your Google account level that you should, you can opt in permanently to preferential treatment for small businesses in all of your searches. Um, but even, even aside from the sort of account level feature until it shows up on a lot of searches as a, as a filter, I just don't see it as very meaningful, uh, in terms of giving business, giving small businesses additional exposure. It's, it's an interesting suggestion on the on the consumer side. You know, you could do that with a lot of different attributes and it would be a, an interesting personalization tool. Um, but it's not it's not available at this at this point. And it isn't going to be because they are beholden to their advertisers and they're not going to screw national businesses in that way. This is this allows them to continue to do what they're doing and extracting you know, rent by advertising from large national companies and small companies. And it's largely performative. I mean, it yep, you know, but may have some, like David said, temporary, slow, small, small impact. But the, the I irony is, the though, like... facing small businesses, Google, though. No. Go ahead. The, the irony is, if Google were to turn this on from an organic standpoint, it would actually potentially force national brands to do more advertising and could actually juice their ad revenue. No, that's true. Well, it's a, it's an illustration. True. It's an illustration of the of the of the tension that we're seeing, you know, kind of in this Google antitrust trial between the ad side and the and the search, the organic search side, and the and the the the, the shifting loyalties between the two that the that the company has to has to make because it's it's so beholden to institutional investors to drive, you know, quarterly. Uh, revenue growth and so it it, it, it it to mike's sure. point about not threatening i mean maybe you're right david that, that that they would get more advertising revenue by emphasizing small business but at least right now they don't want to do anything at all that's going to jeopardize revenue even if it's for the yep. betterment of the user experience but putting my tinfoil hat on we are heading into the holiday shopping season and google may be feeling the pressure to juice its q4 Ad revenues, so maybe we will see the organic small business filter rolling out uh, in uh, right around the time of Black Friday. Well, it would so. be it would be very interesting if that were the case, and I hope that they do it. I hope they do it because people yeah. people genuinely are interested in finding small businesses as an option um, for sure. So. All right. Well, we cross our fingers that the technical issues are not uh, uh, too disruptive <laughs> here. We'll see, and. Thanks for tuning in this time, and we will see you next week. Thanks for joining David, Mike, and Greg. To stay on top of the latest developments in local, subscribe to our newsletter at nearmedia.co. We'll see you next week.